please. I call the reorganizational meeting of the Township Committee of the Township of Long Hill to order at 6.03 p.m. Adequate notice in compliance with the Open Public Meetings Law of New Jersey. Adequate notice of this, of this meeting was electronically sent to the Echo Sentinel and the Courier News and posted in the bulletin board of the Municipal Building as well as on file with the Clerk's Office. If you'll join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Deacon O'Neill. God of power and might, wisdom and justice, through your authority, is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. Assist with your spirit of counsel and fortitude the mayor and the township committee and other government leaders of the township of Long Hill. We seek your blessings on the task before them. Bless their efforts with clear insight, their deliberations with wisdom, their work with clarity and accuracy, their decisions with impartiality, for the best of interest for our community and our fellow citizens. May they always seek the ways of righteousness, justice, and mercy. Grant that they may be enabled by your powerful protection to lead our township with honesty and integrity we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Mr. Marimbalo. do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the state of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance in the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all duties of the Office of Committeeman of the Township of Long Hill according to the best of my ability, and that I will not use my office to grant preferential treatment nor seek personal gain, favor, or advantage not available to the general public, so help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to take a minute and um, thank, uh, thank the people of Long Hill. Uh, when you uh, count in uh, my school board uh, service, this will be my uh, fifth elected term here in Long Hill. And I wanted everybody to know that I'm going to continue to work as hard as, uh, as, hard as I can uh, for the people of Long Hill for the issues that I think are right. And I want to thank everybody for their support. And uh, I wish everybody a happy new year. Thank you. Okay, I will call the roll. Be closer to your mic. Nope. Committeeman Dorsey. Here. Committeeman Marangolo. Here. Committeeman Persercia. Present. Committeeman Ray. Present. Committeeman Schuler. Here. All right. We are going to call for the nominations for mayor of the township of Long Hill for the year 2017. It is my pleasure to nominate uh, Cornell Shula as mayor for 2017. I'll second. Are there any other nominations? There being no further nominations with one ballot cast, I will call for a close and motion to close the nominations. Motion to close. Second. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Pasercia? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Schuler? Yes. Mr. Maringolo? Yes. May I have a motion to elect Cornell Schuler as mayor of the township of Long Hill for the year 2017? So moved. Is that you, Bruce? Second. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Maringolo? Yes. Mr. Pasercia? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Schuler? Yes. 
I declare Cornell Schuler duly elected mayor of the Township Committee of the Township of Longhill for the year 2017. All right, sir, would you like to step to the dais to do the oath? I, Cornell Shula, Jr., do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the office of mayor of the Township of Long Hill according to the best of my ability and that I will not use my office to grant preferential treatment nor to seek personal gain, favor, or advantage not available to the gen general public. So help me God. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to um, open nominations for Deputy Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to take this opportunity to nominate Brendan Ray for Deputy Mayor. A second. Committeeman Dorsey. Yes. Committeeman Marigolo. Yes. Committeeman Pasercia. Yes. Committeeman Ray. Yes. Mayor Schuler. Yes. Can I have a motion to close the nomination? Uh, are there any other nominations? Oh, we actually voted already. Right? Okay. Um, motion to close. Motion to close. Second. Committeeman Dorsey. Yes. Committeeman Maringolo. Yes. Committeeman Pasercia. Yes. Committeeman Ray. Yes. Mayor Schuler. Yes. And can I have a motion to elect Deputy Mayor for 2017, please? So moved. Second. Second. Committeeman Dorsey? Yes. Committeeman Maringolo? Yes. Committeeman Pasercia? Yes. Committeeman Ray? Yes. Mayor Schuler? Yes. <clears throat> How would you like to do your oath, sir? Are you a leader? Okay. Come. <laughs> really? Yeah. Constitution of the United States and the State of New Jersey. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. And I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties and offices of Deputy Mayor according to the best of my ability. And I will not use my office to grant for preferential treatment nor to seek personal gain, favor, or advantage not available to the general public. So help me God.
Good evening and welcome to the Long Hill 2017 reorganization meeting. Deacon O'Neill, thank you very much for your thoughtful invocation. I would also like to thank our residents, former local officials and friends for being here this evening. And I'd also like to recognize freeholder Christine Myers um, and Uh, and at some point, maybe Tom Mastrangelo is on his way here, but stuck in traffic he he on 287. Fair, fair, fair enough, but he's, he gets credit for trying. <laughs> on behalf of the Township Committee, I want to thank the entire Board of Chosen Freeholders, Assemblyman Bramnick, Assemblywoman Munoz, Senator Kane, and the offices of Congressman Lance and Governor Christie for the support they have all provided and will continue to provide to Long Hill Township. I'd like to thank my fellow committeemen for selecting me to serve as Mayor of Long Hill Township. It is an honor, responsibility, and a privilege to represent the people of Long Hill, and I will work hard to fulfill the level of trust you have placed in me. I offer congratulations to Committeeman Marengolo on his re-election to the Township Committee, and to, to Brendan Ray on receiving the role of Deputy Mayor. I would also like to thank all the employees of the Township for their continued hard work throughout the year, along with the incredible number of volunteers we have who selflessly dedicate their time, and our generous business community, which all join in making Long Hill such a great place to live. And I'd like to thank my parents, and most of all, my wife, and my Linda, and my sons, Ryan, Evan, and Logan, whose support and patience allow me to devote the time necessary to fulfill the responsibilities of being a committeeman. As we look back on 2016, I believe we can be proud of our accomplishments. After years of discussion, construction was completed this March on Long Hill's first turf field equipped with state-of-the-art lighting at Canner Park. As a continued enhancement to the park, we recently received a grant from Morris County to complete the walking trail around the back grass field. This will be an improvement that will be enjoyed by many. We completed the acquisition of open space across the street from Town Hall, which it is hoped will become a key recreation area for our residents. A number of homes that were acquired as part of the flood acquisition property program were demolished and the land restored to its natural state. As part of a continuing effort to modernize Town Hall, we implemented an online payment option for tax and sewer payments, and as part of our continued evaluation of expenses, we brought the animal control program in-house to reduce costs. Our Department of Public Works implemented a new recycling program for styrofoam and fluorescent bulbs to help protect the environment, and they have been aggressively coordinating with New Jersey American Water regarding water main replacements and their timing with our continued road resurfacing program to ensure we only tear up roads once. To help foster communication with the public, the Township Committee introduced the Long Hill Ledger, a new quarterly newsletter sent townwide. And with the help of the Planning Board, the Township Committee declared Valley Road near Main Ave an area in need of redevelopment, beginning a process that will revitalize the area. And of course, we recognized Long Hill's 150th year with various celebrations throughout the year. But our work is not done. In fact, we face some incredibly important decisions in 2017. Since 2000, Long Hill has been under a voluntary sewer ban restricting development decisions in town. In 2013, the committee approved a $4.5 million bond to begin addressing the sewer ban with the intent to continue investing. We paused in 2014 when we began considering a possible sale of our sewer plants to a private entity. With the completion of an extensive valuation study this past December, we will all be able to better understand the costs and values of keeping the system versus selling it. It is our intent that any sale of the plant would include an obligation on the purchaser to take step the steps to allow us to lift the sewer ban. If the, rec if the recommendation is to sell, the public needs to know and understand that any sale will be your decision as a referendum item on the November 2017 election ballot. 
And if keeping the plant is in our best interest, we will need to resume the work we began in 2013 to lift the sewer ban so that we can have responsible discussions and debates around development that aren't prohibited by a self-imposed barrier. Extending on our open space acquisition across the street, the Township Committee entered an agreement to swap portions of the property with property belonging to a neighboring landowner because we believe that the new configuration will make for a safer and better park. We will spend much of 2017 securing appropriate approvals to conduct this transaction and ensuring the public has sufficient opportunity to provide input regarding the swap. And while this process is taking place, I hope to have plans from the Vision Committee for passive recreation in areas that are unaffected by the land swap. And once the final determination regarding a land swap is made, the Vision Committee can begin work for a vibrant park with both active and passive recreation activities. It is my hope that very early in 2017, we will complete our negotiations with the Fair Share Housing Center and arrive at a number of affordable units that recognizes an appropriate obligation of new construction for Long Hill's character. We must finalize our master plan and do it in a fashion that reflects the wishes of the community. This has been a goal for a number of years and rightfully so. It represents a complete vision for the town and is a significant amount of work. During the first half of the year, we hope to receive a number of proposals back for the Valley Road redevelopment area. And with that, I hope the community engages in productive debate and provides input as to what is best for that area. Budgets are always an issue, and this year will be as challenging as most. We have preliminary meetings later this week, and as always, we are targeting remaining below the 2% cap while still providing the services the residents deserve. 2017 will be a challenging year for all of us, but I believe this committee and our staff has proven that it is up to the challenge. In closing, I'd like to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2017. At this time, I'd like to um, accept motions to accept standing committee appointments for 2017. So moved. Second. So no all in favor. Aye. 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 Um, I'm not sure I like two-sided. Uh, can I get a Confirmation uh, motion for confirmation of mayoral appointments. So moved. Second. Mm -hmm. Roll call, please. <laughs> Sorry. Committee member Dorothy. Yes. Committee member Rendell. Yes. Committee member Sergio. Yes. Deputy Mayor Ray. Yes. Mayor Sheila. Yes. And can I, uh, one modification um, <coughs> on the Township Committee appointments, the Communications Advisory Committee. Um, we are adding Jay Weissman uh, with a December 31st, 2019 expiration. And can I get a motion to accept Township Committee appointments? Some motion. Second. Committee Man Dorsey? Yes. Committee Man Marigolo? Yes. Committee Man Sergio? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ray? Yes. Mayor Schur? Yes. Um, consent, and res consent agenda resolutions, um, at the bottom of page four, resolutions should be 17-001 through 17-047, not 048. And we are amending resolution 17-023, removing Ray Raymond Clark. Motion to accept consent agenda as amended. Second. Miniman Dorsey. Yes. Miniman Morello. Yes. Miniman Sergio. Yes. Deputy Mayor Ray. Yes. Mayor Schur. Yes. And at this time, I'd like to open the meeting to the public. Seeing none, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second.
Can all I those. Bring in. up any new food? No, just <laughs> you can if you want. Meeting's <laughs> <laughs> adjourned. Motion to adjourn. So, we, did we all vote though? Yep. yep. Okay. All in favor? All in favor. Aye. Aye. <laughs> all right, next meeting, January 11th. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.